What's up, everybody? J24CF here. I'm East Coast Throwdown with the great Justin Wong, sir. How are you? Pretty good. How about yourself? Doing good, doing good. And we've always had some great chats, you know, off video and on video and stuff like that. I'm always grateful for the input you give me. And you are a jack of all trades, you know, and, and Justice is the new game that's out. Are you picking up that game? Are you going to be playing in it? Um, I want to get good at it just because, like, everyone knows that I usually just Skype call Flo on his streams as Batman. Right. So that's who I play is Batman. Um, but it's just that, right, like, before the Evo announcement, I wasn't playing the game, obviously, because I just want to focus on the Evo games. Right. But now I want to play a lot more. But I know a lot of people are very good at the game at the moment just okay. because some had more time, some been playing the game from the get-go. So I just have to catch up. Right. Now... I, as a just a Street Fighter um, only player, I find that there's some flaws that the game has that, you know, I feel if maybe they change this, not to be like a Street Fighter type game, but if they just address these things, for example, like characters' walk speeds. All the characters have the same walk speeds, and there's some characters that could just constantly just spam you out with air fireballs and really zone you out. I mean, are there some things about the game that you may have some issues with just picking it up? Well, obviously, from a, a 2D sp standpoint, um, walk speed is very important to me. Mm -hmm. um, viable anti-airs are very important to me. Right. But I just think, like, overall, the, the game, like, the presentation of the game is, like, magnificent. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's very cool to play your DC characters. And when you see your DC characters, you know, you already, just, look, just right. looking at them, you already know their play style. And that's, like, the cool part about the game. Mm -hmm. But obviously, from my point of view, as a Street Fighter player, I would love walk speed so I could like whiff punish a lot better because it's very hard to whiff punish in this game. Right. And just really strong anti airs because the jumping is too too much. But I understand that they want to keep it towards the Mortal Kombat area, mm -hmm. so where you want to do jump, uh, just jump into combos, into hits, into hit confirms from the jump, just because that's more that's that's what you see a lot in the Mortal Kombat right. series. And zoning is very strong. In the Mortal Kombat series, also with Cabal, Katana, and all that stuff. But I also, I just agree. I do agree, just that zoning is kind of very OP at the game. But it's still new. Obviously, a lot of people will say that like Deathstroke was too good because his keep away is very good. Right. But you know, now everyone's getting fig figuring things out. So maybe by Evil Time, you'll see more rush down. Hopefully. Right. Well, what I know is each time they're going to introduce, I guess, like a new character. Like, I know Batgirl is due out this Tuesday, so by the time this video comes up, she may be out. There's going to be a patch to adjust some balances in the game. And I, at least I'm not in the minority that says, you know, walk speed is important because I like the fact of having walk speed, with and punish. I mean, I, I felt good having to learn that in Street Fighter. I mean, I felt that made me as a better overall fundamental player picking up games like a whiff punish and things like that. Now, <clears throat> AE 2013, they're changing it. You've been for years saying you want Rufus to not fly over characters. Do you think they're actually going to address that in this version? Uh, I don't think they, they will address it <laughs> just because he's not a very popular and loved character. Okay. Um, but it will be nice for tournament players, tournament players that use Rufus to have that. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I think if it, if it does, um, does, does not go over, I think it will be too cheap. Just because the reversal already is amazing. So that's why I want all my enders to be punishable on block. Okay. So every character, if they guess right on on my wake up, they could punish me. Just like if you block a shore, you can. Right. Right. You can punish coming down. So a full combo. So I, I, I'd rather give guys full combos if you give me not go over EX Messiah right. kick. Now, are there some ideas like, have they asked you what changes you would like in the game character-wise and such? I mean, I mean, I'm just like any other fan. Mm -hmm. um, just given like requests posted online and stuff like that and you know like i believe that capcom does look at like players profiles a players tweets or facebook messages and stuff like that because obviously combo fiend is working there mm -hmm. and so is haunt so they're definitely uh, addressing um player issues in terms of characters in terms of character balance okay. so i hope my message gets across but i'm pretty sure that the other thousands of tournament players right. are hoping the same thing for their character too right now do you feel that Nerfing top characters is the answer to it, or buffing lower tier characters. I mean, what do you think would be a fair medium to you? I believe that if I don't, I don't think you should nerf a character. I think you should just buff everyone else that has problems. Right. So like all the top characters, just leave them the same, and then make the the lower characters better, so they can fight those obstacles, and then new technology and new setups and new methods will come about. Right. Now. With sh now that we're on the Street Fighter, I mean, infiltration is running shop. I mean, are you surprised by it? I mean, are you taken back? Or 
Um, obviously, he's he's the best, right. clearly. But that's just because, like, I think his dedication and motivation just outweighs anyone else that plays the game. Okay. Like, he, he he has, you know, obviously everyone knows about the, the infamous cell phone notes yeah. and stuff like that. <laughs> so he, it's, he's definitely, like, one of the smartest players ever to come existence to right. fighting games. Mm -hmm. But yeah, sorry about that. Sorry. But I think that overall, like um, a lot of more, a lot of people will be prepared for be prepared for him by Evo, like because there are some matches that he does not like. For example, Yun, okay. Blanca, um, I I believe Bison. So I feel like a lot of Japanese players will come out with Yun for some reason, okay. and like obviously it's a Pangali just came about, and I and I think a lot of secondaries were kind of like Yuns, mm -hmm. so. You know, who knows? Right. I, I heard he was invited to the most recent one that took place, but he didn't go. Do you think maybe that was to, like, avoid showing his tech to those other players? I mean, the prize was very, very big, right? So right. even even then, you would still kind of want to go. But maybe he just was too busy because he just came from Brazil. Okay. To, um, like, came to NorCal Regionals. You know, he travels a lot. So And plus, that flight from Korea to all these places are very far. Right. So maybe he just wants to save technology for evil because obviously who doesn't want to be a two-time evil champ for, right. for 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 the games now because being consistent is obviously the best feeling in the world right. so he cl he clearly wants to win right. and like there even though he had some matchup issues like final round knuckle do beat him and then ncr and uh cross tekken no no cross tekken he was he won but yeah pretty much ncr was dominant performance but mm -hmm. Final round was not dominant, right. and even SCR he had problems with Hugo one on ones Yun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know everyone's practicing. Everyone does want to take out the champ. So definitely a big target on his head this year. Right. Now with the fact that we're speaking about top players, you are a top player, and another top player, Chris G. You and him had a grand finals in Marvel that received a lot of heat because of alleged pot splitting and stuff. I don't care if it happened. You know, as a fan, I just say if they do it, whatever, that's fine give me the best performance i mean he spoke about it in an interview and stuff i mean is there some things you want to address about it because i mean they really didn't focus the venom and hate towards you it was more towards chris in the end i mean anything you want to address about that well uh, obviously i'm very sorry about like the whole situation happened well I'm not, I, I think just not a lot of people know is that like at the venue like when we were about to play the people in the crowd wanted wanted it right so like after it happened, you know, like, I get baited in the beer, peer pressure very easily because mm -hmm. I, I want people to be happy. Right. You want to please the fans? Yeah, please the fans and please the crowd. But I didn't take into consideration of the people watching at home in the stream. Mm -hmm. So I feel very bad. And that's why, like, now I just always play, like, the best I can. Like, the best team possibly to get the win and everything. So I wouldn't want, like, anything to happen. Just because this is a very delicate community and everyone just wants just to be happy and everyone wants to see a show so like i know like a lot of people don't like the fact that people have to put on shows now these days but i think it just comes down to the point that if we want to grow bigger we have to we have to make sure if the, the content that people people watching are good is good so they can keep interested right. and because of that we'll grow so i want the community to grow so i will always play my best yeah, and, and you've, you've always helped me out and i'm, I'm always grateful to that i mean i was a nobody and still i'm a nobody but i mean you helped me out. I'm, I'm forever grateful. And Cross Tekken, you know, I mean, it's now seems to be dying down again after the patch and injustice has been picking up. I mean, what do you see as a future for, you know, Cross Tekken? I think Cross Tekken is going to be like one of those staple games that um, like most top players from other games are just going to enter. It's, like, it's going to be the point where I think a lot of people that liked the game in the beginning might not support it again, like enter the tournaments. That's why like the numbers are not the same. Like if you come to pair a Street Fighter 4 numbers to a cross tech number, it's never the same. Yeah. It's obviously Street Fighter 4 is bigger. So uh, like I will always support cross tech in. Um, Ricky will always support cross tech in. Any like notable fighting game player will always support cross tech in. So like I was like I said earlier, it's like the the Capcom vs SNK2 of this generation because not everyone right. enjoyed CVS2. Only the the notable players enjoyed the game. I know you got to get to your matches and stuff like that. I don't want to take up more of your time. Justin, I appreciate it. I mean, any final words, shout-outs you have? Um, just shout-outs to everyone supporting uh, the fighting community, everyone watching this video. This guy does a good job for making videos <laughs> and stuff like that. And, yeah, thank you for supporting Team Spooky Stream, Level Up Stream, and even the tournament organizers. They put a lot of effort into this. So hope to see everyone at the next major or even at EVO.
Thank you, and we out.